Let me ask you this. Do you feel worried about fucking inflation and politics and the fucking drama on TV? Does that enter you and make you scared or uptight in any way? If, if the news or everywhere you go didn't mention inflation, I honestly wouldn't have noticed. As I, or wouldn't even know. I remember, and this was like, um, this we had just started working together maybe like six months or something like that. And, uh, you know, COVID happened and all that. And um, I remember this was literally the first time in my life. And I had lived in America for 14 years to that point. That's the first time in my life that I knew when people said red, what that meant. When people said blue, what that meant. I understood the difference between Democrats and Republicans. I Like up until now, I had not even voted, you know. And I, I, mean, I just didn't care. I was so like obsessed about my business, growing my finances, just really caring about that and, and improving my skills. And that, but that's because like the whole world literally shut down. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Maybe I need to pay attention to this. <laughs> and I remember for about six months, I got into this rut that I was in. I was in like a downfall spiral. And it was because I was focused on what's out there. I was focused on everything that I cannot control. Who's yeah. president, what the president is doing, what the CDC is doing, what this, what that, what the Demo Democrats said, what the Republican, what the Congress is doing, was this. And I was literally just focused everything out there. And then I don't know what it was, but it was like a pivotal moment where I just snapped out of it. And I was like, I just need to fucking focus on what I can control. Yeah. And ever since then until now, like when when our, when our Instagram page w was taken down a couple months ago, maybe half a dozen different people reached out to me. It's like, hey, bro. Do you have enemies out there? Like, what if it's someone trying to fuck with you? And like, and I was like, okay, let's just for a second pretend that's true. What the fuck can we do about that? Nothing, <laughs> right? No. Nothing. What can we do about something? Okay, well, give me something tangible that I can do something about. I'm going to focus on that because that's something that I can actually control. Something that, who the president is, what the president, you know, passes through or vetoes, what the Congress decides, what whatever. I can't fucking control. I can go vote every four years. Let's go and do that. Outside of that, there's nothing you could fucking do. As you said, focus on getting your house in order because this is stuff that you can actually control. When you get this taken care of, magically everything else out there gets taken care of too. Absolutely, it does. It's a fucking clown show out there. It's like, you know, neither of us are clicked into what they call the matrix, right? Like we don't, follow the news. I mean, I'm up to current events. I know what the fuck's going on, but I look at it from an objective, like almost like a clown show. I look at fucking politics, current events, celebrity shit that's going on in the world. Like I know what's out there. I look at it like fucking, it's a soap opera to me. It's like, do you watch TV? It's like, no, but I know what's going on in politics. And that's a fucking soap opera to me. I don't take it seriously. I think they're all a fucking joke. They're all self-serving. They're all fucking crook crooks and we can't do fuck all about it so it's like okay you guys do you over there i'll you know poke my head out and grab some popcorn from time to time and just like laugh at the show but it's not going to affect how i operate my life mm -hmm. and i think the problem and i hear it a lot when we talk to our students before they join and when they're trying to get inside and they're thinking i want to change something in my life i want to be a more provider i want to leave my job i want to travel they have these goals and dreams and then fear creeps in or doubt creeps in. And I say, what, what's like, what's holding you back? Is something, what, what came up or whatever? And I can hear them say things like, yeah, you know, the news says it's inflation, so I should probably save my money. Or yeah, you know, this president is in right now and he's printing money like a crazy person. My dollars aren't worth so much anymore. So maybe I should hold on to them with iron fists. And my question to you is, number one, who gives a fuck what he's doing? What serves you better? Just right now in this moment, getting a high income skill where you can create a business for your family or holding on to the little bullshit that you do have based on some bullshit from the fucking news. Which serves you better? It's so obvious that getting a skill and building something you can control is hedging the inflation and the problems in the world. 
I would argue you better get a fucking business right now if you think that shit's true. You know what I mean? If you think inflation's bad and shit's bad, you better hurry the fuck up and get a business then because that's something you can control. You know what I mean? Very interesting point. Um, because I, I I do see both sides of the argument, right? Yeah, and definitely. There's always... Yeah, and the reason why I do see both sides of the argument because I catch myself trying to do that. Like, let's just kind of wait. And because I've see, I've I literally grew up in a household where my dad, until today, is still waiting on politics in Iraq to you know the government to get formed, the politics to get solved, and so that he could do something back there, right? Like every time I talk to him, I'm like, hey, dad, how is everything? Because I have an oldest brother that still lives in northern Iraq. How's everything there? How's, you know, oh, we're still waiting. Literally, every time I talk to him, he's been waiting for the last 20 fucking years. No. Before Saddam was, well, we're ready for Saddam to go away. And, you know, and, and you know, uh, America's going to come in and all these companies are going to come in and we're going to do all these things and blah, blah, blah. And then after it's like, well, yeah, until the new government gets formed and then the new and then elections and then this thing and then that thing. And it's like, but dude, you're literally putting your life and your livelihood, and the livelihood of your family and your loved ones in the hand of someone else, that you cannot control how they fucking show up for you or your family, or don't even know they give a fuck about you or your family. No, they don't know you at all. You know what I mean? Or do they care? Exactly. So it's like, it's like, as you said, this money, if you believe that inflation is there, then you absolutely need to fucking, like, run and, and do something with it, because... If you've got ten thousand dollars in the bank today, that's going to be like nine thousand five hundred or nine thousand seven hundred or eight thousand five hundred next year, right? Or even less. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen, right? And so, this is where it becomes very interesting how people think that by holding on to things, they're preserving or they're holding, like they're they're better off than letting go. And I see this problem happen with a lot of with a lot of people where like we both know that in order for you to go to the next level of your life, sometimes you have to let go of the old to open room for the new.